daily events worldwide. And we are on March 30th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a world weather outlook. Starting out here looking at satellite imagery of the large storm that is moving across central and southeastern United States prompting over a dozen tornado watches and warnings throughout the day today, and that will continue till late tonight. Also looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, USGS, and as well the last 48 hours on our sun, in which just produced an X-class solar flare. The last few images here, you can see that little shake, and we were definitely hit by an X-class solar flare after seeing many CMEs and solar flares over the last three days. Over a dozen CMEs and three sizable solar flares, especially this X-class solar flare, which was in an earth-facing position. Quick look at our sun there at 304 angstroms. Bright region in the northern region is the one firing off all the flares, and as well the southern hemisphere region as well. We've been watching these regions coming in on the crest with cresting limb here of our sun. Also get a quick look at how the coronal holes are doing because we do have a coronal hole in the southern hemisphere coming into an earth facing position. Also you can see the shock wave from the last few flares and CMEs. There was also a backside flare overnight. So very active sun as we are in solar cycle 25 and even NASA was warning that it will be an accelerated and very busy maximum solar cycle. And it's proving to be already. Have a quick look here at our solar X-ray flux, as you can see, it jumped up into X-class range. Solar proton flux dropping a little bit. Geomagnetic activity is low right now. But we're waiting for this incoming space weather. As you can see here, R3, strong solar storm right now. Let's have a look at the DRAP absorption map. Now I did show you the last, from the last event, we had a minor flash on our planet. And then look at this just recently, right on Central America, Galapagos Islands. And we saw a pretty sizable earthquake through the region, 5.4 Guadalupe. Or I'm uh, sorry, Guatemala. X-class solar flare, and that is how it hits us right over North and South America. Have a quick look here at our Lasco 2 and 3 imagery. Show the most recent events from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. And there is our X-class solar flare. Full halo CME from it. Boom. So this is your CME. Right there. And then another flash right here. Amazing stuff. Have a quick look at our real-time solar wind right now. As we are sitting at about 410 kilometers per second. And throughout the day today, most we saw was 422. Little flip-flop in the phi angle throughout the day as well. 
density bunches increasing. And here's a look at ISWA space prediction spiral showing this large event heading straight towards Earth. Looks like it will be arriving April 3rd into 4th. So heads up, this we have more solar weather on our way. Quick look at our Schumann resonance for today. Giving you a full world update here, live style. We are live on YouTube right now. This is the live stream. I'm just gonna be doing a quick update with everybody and then clipping the video. So we're sitting at Schumann resonance 46 slash 60. That's a hefty power after being hit by this X-class solar flare. A quick look at earthquakes around the world as we did have a pretty sizable earthquake ring off just two hours ago, sending tsunami watches and warnings across the Pacific. The 6.9 earthquake rocked to Dean, New Caledonia. 6.9 earthquake originally came in as a 7.0, quickly downgraded, and as you can see already, an aftershock in the 4.5 magnitude range. No real deep earthquakes today. It's been pretty quiet the last 24 hours. Only deep ones were Alaska. Looks to be about 150 kilometer depth. Throughout the day, we did see minor fours across Banda Sea, all around the Banda Sea, actually. Looks like it's being targeted, as well as seeing a five, what is that, 5.0 5. earthquake in Bandar Lepong, Indonesia. That is right by Anak, Krakatoa. As well, activity through Tajikistan, Afghanistan, China. And as well, Greece seeing an earthquake today. In Kamari, Greece, a 4.1 earthquake rang out. USGS reporting 250 earthquakes across the USGS map. Pretty sizable earthquake rang out. South Sandwich Islands, 5.1, as well, a couple through North America and Chile, or sorry, South America, Chile. As well, just recently, a 5.0 earthquake live as we're doing this right now. Just came in a 5.0 earthquake in Valinar, Chile, 23 kilometer depth. Activity through Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic continues to increase. As well, here's your 5.4 Guatemala. Earthquakes across the United States. No major swarms to talk about. The strongest earthquake today through the region was the 3.5 here in White City, New Mexico. As well, Hawaii seeing a lot of minor activity as well today. I think they've seen about 30 or 40 across the islands. Quick glance at the last seven days across the planet. And this app is different than our normal, so it doesn't have the rumblings. <clears throat> Pardon me. You get the rumbling in my throat instead. But we do have, this is the last seven days for earthquakes. All of the elevated rings are the depth. Lots of activity coming back to Central America, down into South America right now. This has been an active week through the region, expecting that to move northward up to the Cascades. Quick look at weather here. This is the storm that is moving across Arkansas, Louisiana as we speak, and then moving eastward. This wave of moisture here is a convergence line, high pressure coming out of the Gulf funneling all this warm tropical moisture ahead of this strong Pacific low that is coming out of Colorado. 
pretty impe impressive storms. As I said, dropping about a dozen tornado watches and warnings today. Let's have a quick look at Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from across the world, as well as showing all of the disaster alerts and warnings across the, every continent. I'm just going to let this satellite imagery load up. If it does, I'm hoping it does. I'll take a quick moment to thank all of the memberships and as well as sponsors to the channel. I appreciate all of the love and support for daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared to natural disasters, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, extreme weather events. So a pretty strong low is now moving into northern BC. The low for the California coastline has penetrated and is moving south-southeast across the United States, prompting all of these storm warnings and tornado warnings across the U.S. Tsunami watches and warnings were put out, but no tsunami was imminent. No tsunami is expected right here. This is what we look for when the watches come up. No tsunami is expected. So yeah, there were watches through Hawaii and as well Alaska, BC coastline. We still have one tropical storm to talk about. Halima is still alive, heading south southeastward. Other than that, we're going to see a couple more low pressure systems pop up over uh, north of Australia. And they're seeing quite a few flood events and as well now fires in parts of the Northern Territory. We'll have a quick look here at windy.com showing you here the next few days for weather. Across the U.S., watch along this convergence line, very strong storms to continue through tonight and into tomorrow through the southeastern states, Florida. Lots of snow on the backside still from these storms, cold temperatures moving back into Ontario. Big snowstorm developing here for Saskatchewan, heading into Manitoba for Saturday. And then as well, we've got this big low off the coast of northern BC in Alaska. This is where over 400 centimeters of snow is going to be falling over the next few days. So heads up Alaska and as well heads up United States with this extreme weather. And Quebec, you're going to be seeing a lot of snow over the next little bit. Overlooking Europe, cold convergence line moving in this weekend. Going to bring snow to central Europe and rain to more southern regions, stormy conditions moving up into Greece. Long range forecast here through West Pacific, Indian Ocean. Watching a tropical depression here form off the coast of New Caledonia. And it looks like it could be developing into a pretty strong cyclone here in the long range. Luckily, not heading towards any landmass, but watch through southeastern regions next week. Strong systems moving in there through Victoria. South America. <clears throat> Daily evaporation rains, of course, but no major systems penetrating South America right now, nor in the long range. We're looking at Africa, same thing, but more central regions and as well coastal regions, South Africa. Watch for rain next week. Stormy conditions, strong winds.
We're going to get a quick look here at Null School as well. We're going to want to look at the winds at 10,000 feet, give you a quick update on how our world and our atmosphere is doing. And we still have a split vortex, but the strong winds are starting to calm down and move towards the equator. And southern hemisphere is starting to gain back the energy for its winter months. Again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Daily Events Worldwide. This has been a quick live update. Much love and prayers for humanity going through all of these times and events together. I want to thank you all for joining this journey with Daily Events Worldwide. It started out as Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide. And over time, has changed. But here we are.